Hey dear friends, welcome back to chapter materials, metals and non-metals. So as discussed in my previous video, part the first part of this video, we talked about the physical properties of metals and non-metal, examples of metals and non-metals. So let's see what's the overview of this video. As in the overview, there is the chemical properties of metals and non-metals, uses of metals and non-metals. Chemical properties of metals and non-metals. So there are five subparts of this. First is reaction with oxygen, how metals or non-metals react with oxygen, how they react with water, how they react with acids, with bases, and at last there is displacement reactions. Coming to reaction of a non-metal with oxygen. So if you put a non-metal in contact to oxygen, what will happen? First, it will convert itself into non-metallic oxides. Non-metallic oxides are uh, acidic in nature and they also cause acid rain. How they cause acid rain? First, a non-metal has become non-metallic oxide such as sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide. Once they dissolve in water and when the water evaporates, the sulfur dioxide also evaporates with the water and form cloud, form a acidic cloud I can say. And when it rains, it's acid rain, right? So this is how non-metal react with oxygens. So now let's see how metals react with oxygen. So guys, in reaction of metals with oxygen, metals react with oxygen to form metallic oxides. Jaisa ki most common hai, agar aap ek metal ko, ek uh, metal ko oxygen ke contact mein chhod doge, to kya hoga? Wo metallic oxide mein transform hoga. Jaisa aapne agar ek magnesium ko, aapne oxygen contact mein chhoda, to wo ban jayega magnesium oxides. Ab ye jo uh, metallic oxides hote hain, for example, magnesium oxides and sodium oxides, ye basic hote hain nature mein. So, agar aap inhe water mein dissolve karenge, to ye form ho jayenge magnesium hydroxide solution ya fir sodium hydroxide solution. So, ye mein aapko bata diya reaction of metals with oxygen. So, reaction of metals with water. Now, we discussed about reaction uh, of a metal or a non-metal with oxygen. We discussed that. Now, we will discuss reaction of a metal with water. So, how a metal uh, will react with the water if you put any metal not any metal sorry some metals react with water some metals don't react some metals are highly reactive some metals do not react at all so let's pick a highly reactive one like uh, if you take sodium and if you put sodium in contact of water it catches fire so that's why uh, the sodium is stored in kerosene because if it comes in contact with water it will catch fire and cause a hazard next uh, after sodium there are two more examples that are highly reactive metals those are potassium and calcium they react vigorously with water to form a base and evolve hydrogen gas ab aapne agar kisi metal ko water ke contact mein rakha to wo fire pakad lega it catches fire and then it releases hydrogen gas these metals uh, further down like gold and silver do not react with water at all jaisa ki maine aapko pehle bataya kuch metals react karte hain water ke sath kuch nahi karte hain kuch bahut zyada react karte hain matlab highly reactive hote hain aur kuch karte hi nahi hain to gold and silver ye bhi metal hain lekin ye water ke sath react nahi karte hain और हाई रिएक्टिव मेटल हो गए सोडियम पोटेशियम एंड कैल्शियम अब जो नॉन मेटल है वो वाटर के साथ रिएक्ट नहीं करता है वो रिएक्ट करता है एयर के साथ सो so, उन्हें मैं यहां नहीं रखूंगा क्योंकि हां हम बात कर रहे हैं रिएक्शंस ऑफ मेटल्स विद वाटर सो कमिंग टू रिएक्शन ऑफ मेटल्स विद एसिड्स सो इन दिस 
first uh, in this particular slide i will discuss reaction of metals and non metals with acids both in a single slide how if i had to explain you this topic in a fast and efficient manner how would i do it i would do it by an activity or an example so i would take an activity the activity is uh, you need two test tubes in first test tube test tube number 1 you will put metal metal sample in the test tube number 2 you will put non metal samples non metal sample after that you will uh, you will provide five drops of hydrochloric acid to each test tube and the gas or steam produced produced by both test tubes you will pass them out through a uh soap water you will pass them out through soap water so that they the gas can come out by the form of bubbles once uh in metal you will notice that once the gas come out the when the gas comes out in the form of bubbles you need to do one thing you need to uh, light a matchstick or a candle and place it near the bubbles you will notice a pop sound so the pop sound is indication uh, the pop sound is indication that the gas that is released is hydrogen gas you will not notice this change uh, this pop sound in non metals because non metals do not react with acids so acids react with most metals to form salt and hydrogen gas as i explained earlier and uh, for example zinc metal react with hydrochloric acids producing zinc chloride and hydrogen gas so if you had to take in metal sample for metal you would choose you will choose zinc okay now as i already told you non metals do not react with acids so now we know that so let's move on to reaction of metals with bases reaction of metals with bases so for this you we need to perform another activity Take a test tube, fill 5 ml water in the test tube. Okay. Prepare a fresh solution of sodium hydroxide. Dissolve three or four pellets of it in the water. After that, drop a aluminium piece, uh, a piece of aluminium foil in it. You will notice that the gas or steam when ported in contact with a matchstick or a candle, it indicate uh, it. produces a pop sound as we mentioned earlier a pop sound is a indication of hydrogen gas so it means that the gas which is released is called is hydrogen gas okay so ye hame ye batata hai ki jo reaction hai metals ka bases ke sath wo bhi same result deta hai jaisa metals react karte hain acid ke sath dono mein hydrogen gas ka formation hota hai yahan maine non metal isliye discuss nahi kiya hai ki non metal react karte hain रिएक्ट करते हैं बेसिस के साथ लेकिन उनका जो रिएक्शन है वो क्वाइट कॉम्प्लेक्स होता है सो दे रिएक्ट विद बेसिस टू फॉर्म सॉल्ट एंड वाटर एंड रिएक्शन ऑफ नॉन मेटल्स विद बेसिस आर क्वाइट कॉम्प्लेक्स एज आई टोल्ड यू नॉन मेटल ऑक्साइड्स आर यूजुअली एसिडिक इन नेचर एंड रिएक्ट विद बेसिस इन द सेम वे एज एसिड्स सो मैंने आपको बताया अभी कि नॉन मेटल्स के जो जब नॉन मेटल रिएक्ट करता है उसके साथ बेस के साथ वो क्वाइट कॉम्प्लेक्स होता है जैसा कि हमने हमने पढ़ा था कि नॉन मेटल ऑक्साइड्स वो एसिड एसिडिक होते हैं नेचर में सो वो वैसे ही रिएक्ट करेंगे जैसे एसिड बेस के कांटेक्ट में करता है क्या फॉर्म करता है सॉल्ट एंड वाटर करता है ठीक है मेटल्स रिप्लेस हाइड्रोजन गैस फ्रॉम एसिड्स वेर एज नॉन मेटल डू नॉट सो लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक नेक्स्ट and the last topic of chemical properties of metals and non metals is none other than displacement reaction some of you may be familiar to displacement reaction some of you may be not so let me explain this quickly and in an efficient way displacement reactions okay let's go word by word okay displacement what do you mean by displacement displacement okay displacement means replacing replace yeah displacement means replacing a thing replace okay so displacement reaction is basically a chemical reaction in which a highly reactive element replaces a less reactive element from its compound 
both metals and non-metals take part in displacement reactions. So basically displacement reaction जो होता है वो एक chemical reaction होता है जिसमें एक highly reactive element देखिए मैंने यहाँ पे element की बात की है element में कुछ भी हो सकता है metals भी हो सकता है non-metals भी हो सकता है और दोनों metals और non-metals इस reaction के through surpass यानी कि इस reaction में participate कर सकते हैं okay so इस रिएक्शन में हाईली रिएक्टिव एलिमेंट लेस रिएक्टिव एलिमेंट को उसके कंपाउंड से रिप्लेस कर देता है इसका एग्जांपल है इसका एग्जांपल आप ले लीजिए कॉपर और जिंक का सो कॉपर सल्फेट CuSO4 इज ब्लू इन कलर व्हेन इट्स इन वाटर और इफ देयर इज क्रिस्टल ऑफ इट इट्स ब्लू एंड इफ यू ऐड जिंक टू इट ओके यानी कि CuSO4 plus Zn तो आप देखेंगे जो जिंक है वो हाईली रिएक्टिव मेटल है कॉपर से कंपेयर करेंगे तो कॉपर लेस रिएक्टिव है सो अगर डिस्प्लेसमेंट रिएक्शन यहां होगा सो जिंक जो है वो कॉपर को क्या कर देगा रिप्लेस कर देगा सो वहां आ जाएगा जिंक सल्फेट ZnSO4 और कॉपर जिंक की जगह ले लेगा जिंक की जगह ले लेगा कॉपर ओके सो आप नोटिस करोगे कि जब तक वो कॉपर सल्फेट था तब तक तो उसका कलर ब्लू था लेकिन जब वो जिंक सल्फेट में ट्रांसफॉर्म हुआ तो उसका जो ब्लू कलर था वो धीरे धीरे फेड हो जाएगा और कलरलेस बन जाएगा एज जिंक इज आल्सो कलरलेस सो दैट ब्रिंग अस टू एन एंड ऑफ केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स नाउ वी विल डिस्कस यूजेस ऑफ मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स सो मेटल्स आर यूज इन मेकिंग ऑलमोस्ट uh everything like they are used in making machinery automobiles aeroplanes spacecrafts and trains satellites industrial gadgets cooking utensils and water boilers etc okay they uh, with the help of metals we can build bridges big pipes okay so now what non metal what is the use of non metal in our life so guys non metals plays in very important and essential role in our life as oxygen and nitrogen these two are the perfect example why non metals are important for us as oxygen and nitrogen are non metals then oxygen oxygen is a non metal so we breathe non metal right so non metal is essential for our life as we breathe oxygen and oxygen is also a non metal what about nitrogen nitrogen is helpful and necessary for the growth of plants okay for the growth and nutrition of animals as we studied in our chapter 1 crop production and management we learned about nitrogen and fixation and nitrogen cycle right so we learned what's the importance of nitrogen in plants okay because it nitrogen helps plants to grow to enhance their uh, enhance their we can say enhance themselves it helps them to grow and another way non metals are essential for us as fertilizers fertilizers enhance the growth of plants right so non metals are also used in fertilizers non metals are used in a purple color solution which is applied on wounds uh, as an antiseptic so non metal jo hai wo hamare नॉन uh, मेटल जो हमारे वाउंड है वूंड्स हैं जैसे आपको चोट लग जाती है कहीं तो उसे वूंड्स कहते हैं ठीक है सो so, उसको हील करने में उसके ऊपर जो हम पर्पल कलर सोल्यूशन लगाते हैं जो बेसिकली uh, आयोडीन से बनता है सो so, वो हमारे एंटीसेप्टिक के तौर पे काम आता है सो नॉन मेटल्स के दो तो ऐसे ही बड़े यूज हो गए तीन तो ऐसे ही बड़े यूज हो गए कि नॉन मेटल हमारी लाइफ के लिए एसेंशियल है एज ऑक्सीजन एंड नाइट्रोजन नॉन मेटल फर्टिलाइजर के थ्रू यूज होते हैं and non metals are used in uh, used as antiseptic so we learned uses of non metals metals we learned about the physical properties of metals and non metals we learned about the chemical properties of metals and non metals so 